about a microwave oven, what you'll come across is one of these. It's uh, the fan that's in there. Now, it's an induction motor, and it's a pain in the neck to do anything with because of this induction barrel right here. However, this bit, which is the coil, is just really, really useful and dead easy to get out. You take out the barrel, put a saw cut in there, squeeze it, and the whole thing will just drop out as one piece like this. And what we're interested in is this piece, and in particular, the steel that comes with it, because this is obviously silicon steel and meant for magnetic applications. Now the wire in here is as fine as hair, actually it's impossible to work with because it's just so fine. So you want to be careful to leave that coil intact and we can make an adaptation of that to make a balanced armature. In there is a little lump of silicon steel, so if I press that out I'll get this and I can use that for my armature and a hacksaw blade. What we need to do is glue that onto the hacksaw blade because the hacksaw blade's got a bit of spring. And then we need to thin it out a little bit. So we need to thin out this hacksaw blade, split this in half and glue it back on with a bit of super glue. And when we put it all back together, that's what it's like. So basically, it's that coil on a bit of a spring, so it can wobble like that. Now, it's a little tight to get that in, but a little bit of gentle persuasion will get it in relatively easily, and it's a nice tight fit. Now, what we need is a little block for that to sit on. And I'm going to make that block out of, you guessed it, Builder's board or Sintra board, you could use wood just as easily. Now, this is uh, 0.9 millimetres thick. And these are two by four centimetres, so we've got two centimetres height. And you just stick the one on top of the other, give that super glue a little bit of time to dry. And I've got some half a millimetre acrylic there, put one on there, let that dry. When that dries, we're going to put the other two centimetres square acrylic right there, and our little block we've just made gets glued in there like that so that it's free to suspend and waggle about. And I've got myself a two centimetre by one centimetre by four and a half centimetre ceramic magnet. It doesn't matter which way around you're going to put this, but you need some kind of spacer. I'm going to use a bit of acrylic, but just anything will do. Pop the spacer against the thing that you've just put in place, bit of glue on the bottom of the magnet there, and then sit the magnet against it and we leave that whole thing to dry. Okay, so super simple, but that's it finished. Now that is actually free to vibrate, obviously, and it'll vibrate just by walking past it or um, anything really to get that to vibrate. And as that vibrates, it will in fact generate energy. So we'll attach an LED to it. There we go, and give that a mighty flick. And there we go. <laughs> we can light an LED from it. Now to finish that off, you'd probably do something like put a capacitor on it, a supercapacitor, so you can store that energy. Don't forget you need a diode, obviously, or you'll just turn that into an electromagnet. But that is a super simple way to make an energy harvester, an energy scavenger, from an old bit of a microwave. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.